As you can see, there's a lovely history of beauty and challenges behind our hair, which left a significant impact on our culture and daily lives today. Black hair represents beauty, culture, strength, and overcoming. It is a symbol of survival, resistance, and celebration. In my opinion, the assembly went very well. There was a lot of young audience, so I feel like educating them on how the history of hair braiding is for African people or people of color is really important because I feel like nowadays there aren't really a lot of lessons on informing younger kids, so I feel like it went really good. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today we chose the topic for Black History Month to show awareness to the culture of box braiding. Not many of you might know the meaning behind why so many black women or men use this protective hairstyle and today we're going to explain the reason behind it all. I wanted to speak to the school about um, cultural appropriation, the history behind black hair because I feel like a lot of people do not respect black women in their hair because me personally as a kid I would be bullied for wearing my natural hair so I thought it was because a lot of kids weren't educated or it just came like from their homes and that's what they're used to and when they see something different they don't know how to act. African women would braid see would braid rice seeds into their hair as a means for survival and their culture and of their homeland. They kept this as their secret so their masters wouldn't know during the time of slavery. There's not really a definition behind box braiding. It's just a type of style that black women use on their hair to protect it and to grow it. Box braiding is just like um, it's like braids, every hair come down. These are cornrows, they go like this. Box braidings, they're loose on your hair, but with cornrows, um, they're like attached to your hair, like you can't take them out. Um, to have your hair box braided, it's just like, you feel luxurious, you're just, you feel a vibe. It's just you, you cannot go a day without flashing your hair. Like, I never go a day without flashing my hair. You feel good as a young woman to have your hair um, braided because it's like the tradition from back in the days like slaves usually like braid their hair and stuff so that tradition has moved on from generations to generations up until now and it's so popular now in modern times to have your hair box braided so it's a good feeling. It makes your face more brighter, it just gives you it makes your melanin pop more. It just, it's just there. It's giving what's supposed to be given and everything. It feels bougie. <laughs> no, I missed that. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, I need to stop this. Like, I'm getting <laughs> Yeah. You feel bad and bougie. Cultural appropriation is defined by Oxford Dictionary as a knowledge or inappropriate adoption of custom practices, ideas of one people or society by members of another and typically more dominant people or society. Cultural appropriation is when somebody decides to use somebody else's culture but in a disrespectful way without knowing, knowing the meaning behind it. A historical style with cultural significance. In some African cultures, certain braids of patterns were, were and still are used to identify which tribe a person is from. This deep tribal meaning and sacred link to African culture is part of the reason why black women take such pride in embracing a variety of braided hairstyles. Connor was what's created to prevent hunger during slavery. So it's kind of like stealing what belongs to us and just taking that away from us. When we decide to wear our natural hair or decide to do cornrows with our natural hair, and then when a um, Caucasian person decides to do a cornrow with their natural hair, with the Caucasian person, it seems as cool, different, I like your hairstyle. But with the black person, it seems as ratchet, ghetto. And I feel like it's just like taking our part what we made, trying to make it better, because you're trying to make it seem like it looks better on you. In today's world, there is power and joy surging around black hair, and I would love to say I'm happy to be living in, in, in a time where I can appreciate my natural hair and not feel pressure to change it for any other people. We are proud to be black.
Candy. I'm a student here at, I'm a freshman here at DY High School. I'm also part of the Black History Month Celebration Team. The Black History Month Celebration Team is a year-round club that will be meeting year-round to provide activities. I want to start off by thanking each and every one for their excellent work and presentation on informing us about the history of hair braiding. I have to say those were some excellent presentation. First, I would like to thank the DY staff that made this day possible. We couldn't have done it without you guys. And also our hair braiding instructor for taking the time out of her busy schedule to come here and help us out. Thank you again, Ms. Nicole Robertson. I hope everyone has learned something about the history of hair braiding. I know certainly I have. We are all so happy to be sharing these historical facts with you guys. And as we close out for the day, I would like to thank all of you for coming and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. So you're saying that if I had my hair box braided, I would feel like No, it wouldn't feel good on you because you don't have any hair. Okay. So. <laughs>